You are watching Access LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the July 15th, 2024 meeting of the Long Beach Advisory Planning Commission. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportecounty.org. We are calling this meeting of the Advisory Planning Commission to order July 15, 2024 at 7.03 p.m. Uh, first is a Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the God of the United States of America and to the Republic for which you stand, one white nation, under God, indivisible, with the justice done to the strong. Uh, next, we'll do roll call. Kendra Bartlett. Here. Jim Diener. Here. Diana Holt. Here. Pat Carstrand. Here. Seth McCormick is a no. Anita Remages. Here. And Christopher Willoughby, town attorney. Here. Um, I assume you all have copies of the minutes from June 17, and I will be looking for someone to make a motion to approve those minutes. Or I'll make the motion to approve the minutes from June 17, 2024. I second that. Thank you. Um, next up is old business. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. All, 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 all in favor of the motion to approve the minutes from June 17th? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, old business. The comprehensive plan review, if you recall last month, we talked about um, McKenna and the um, person who had helped us, Paul Lippins. We discussed some options. I did talk to Paul Lippins. He is going to put together a couple of different proposals for us. He hasn't been able to get to it, but he intends to get to that this week or next week. And um, he has reviewed the comprehensive plan and talked to another person who had worked on it. They feel it's in pretty good order that it needs to have some changes, but um, he, I talked to him about doing the proposals, getting them out to people, and um, if he would be willing then to come to maybe our next meeting and talk about the proposals with us. So he's going to try and have options. I also discussed with him um, uh, keeping in mind what a budget might be if we were to look at the comprehensive plan, as I think it's recommended every five years. And so that we might have an idea of what to budget for every year so that we would be able to move forward with a company or ourselves to read, to, you know, to continue every five years to make sure that we look at the comprehensive plan review. Any comments? Um, review of Long Beach Town Ordinance. Mm -hmm. The um, 154.020 structure and subsurface structure definitions and existing parking ordinances. There are a variety of ordinances, proposed ordinances, changes to ordinances, current ordinances that um, there's that came before the building commission and um, our attorney and Larry Wall, I think were the ones who recommended that we have a meeting just to discuss the ordinances without having a building commission meeting. Um, so we would be discussing the structure and subsurface, the parking, grandfather, bunkhouses, dumpster, and, I, and various other changes. Just in general, an encouragement to review the building and zoning codes. So look, you know, that's why that mass email went out to BZA, Building Commission, and the Planning Commission, which then the hope is that the Building Commission does some of the heavy lifting for you and puts the due diligence in to make a recommendation. And then ultimately you'll be the decision maker of what will go forward and get considered and or recommendation or not to the town council. And, and thank you for guiding that because I think an important thing too is once, once they're 
you know, that they need, you need to go through public hearings and, you know, for guiding us through that, that we're not just doing one at a time, we're doing piecemeal, that let's take a look at as many of these as we can and look at options and make changes that are good for the town and good for the residents and saving attorneys' time, oh, just people's time and just let's, let's get as much done as people think needs to be done. Comments? I stand up yeah. as, as a reminder for the meeting. I don't know if anybody's even on Zoom, but the meeting is Thursday, July 17th at 9. The 18th, right? The 18th, maybe. Here. So, yes. And, and again, I could send anybody here or, or those that you talk to that have comments. You know, Pete has done a lot of heavy lifting in some of the, the uh, Research of the current ordinances and proposed language, and you know, various members of the building commission have kind of bantered around. So, they'll save you a lot of time and effort. And as Anita pointed out, more important the process so that we don't waste time and money here, you know, publishing and having continued public hearings and take six months before you. So, and, and there won't be any decisions made in that by design by the building commission on Thursday, is it's truly just a workshop for discussion. It could be continued, but their hope was to be able to have enough of a discussion that was fruitful so that at the next building commission, there could be some more formal language that they actually made a recommendation. Whether that will happen next, I think there's probably more changes because we gave a couple of examples, even some things that came up before the BZA. So, but I, I think that that's good progress and yeah. good for all of you. So again, that meeting is Thursday, July 18th at 9 a.m. here in Town Hall. Well, that leads us to new business. And as far as I know, we have none. And that leads us to public hearing. And as far as I know, we have none. That leads us to public comments. And unless our audience member has something to say. <laughs> we have none. That leads us to closing matters, which is our next meeting it is Monday, August 19, 2024, at 7 p.m. Any comments? No comments. That being said, uh, I make a motion to adjourn at 7 11 p.m. Second. Oh, okay. Second. Thank you all for attending.